Uh, has found the argument uh, so in, uh, enough interesting to come, both from nearby and from uh, far away. I'm very happy of uh, this conference and also for, uh, because it is uh, some kind of testimony that uh, the theory of replica symmetry breaking has uh, some interest to many people. So I would like to thank you again and to thank the first uh, chairman, Bernardo Plantier, that I will start to speak. Thank you, uh, Giorgio. Uh, it's a pleasure to open this conference. And uh, I just remember the day when Giorgio gave a, one, probably the first talk on his new equation for replica symmetry breaking in Les Ouches in the winter. And I think you, at some point you said, well, a zero by zero metric theory is not zero dimensional, it's actually infinite dimensional. And every, everybody laughed in Les Ouches, I remember. So it's a long story now. So Professor Guerra is going to speak about the replica trick on interpolating uh, replicas. Actions. I, I hope that uh, that's work. Okay, I thank uh, the organizers uh, for the kind invitation uh, to this uh, very, very interesting meeting. Uh, I remember perfectly, I, uh, it was in the late, uh, in the 70s, I was a director at the at Institute at the time, uh, it was called the Institute of Physics in a small university in South Italy, in Salerno. And uh, we invited uh, Giorgio Parisi to give a talk on spin glass. He still did not have uh, the solution at that time, but uh, he had uh, very clear general ideas. And he, uh, so he told us what was the situation, what were the problem. And then we could follow year, month after month, year after year, the, uh, the development. Very, very, very exciting. I mean, 40 years, very, 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 very exciting. I, I must say one thing that uh, the look, the physical look of Giorgio Parisi at that time was exactly like now, <laughs> was exactly. <laughs> so this is a miracle of uh, replica symmetry breaking. <laughs> okay. So this is the talk, these are my symbol. Uh, what I, my, my talk will be, uh, um, so I have organized everything, that I would be historical, okay, because it is good, and I will be pedagogical, uh, I will be critical, I will give some new results, and I will tell that uh, uh, what we can, uh, can con uh, with what we uh, can continue. And uh, what is the replica trick? Replica trick is a very extremely ingenious uh, uh, method and the scheme of interpretation. Do not uh, follow mathematicians who say it does not have a meaning. It uh, does have a very, very deep meaning. You only have to understand it, and understanding is possible from different points of view, from different uh, perspectives. Replica trick is very simple. If you take uh, this uh, disordered system, I, I take uh, the Sheraton Kirkpatrick model uh, because it is uh, so beautiful that uh, or the Derrida random energy model because uh, one can do all uh, cal calculation explicitly. So if you take these models, you have uh, uh, quenched and annealing. Uh, metallurgical terminology, it, uh, it is related to the steel uh, production. The uh, Japanese people who uh, produce very beautiful uh, swords know very well what means quenching, what means annealing and so on. And the idea is very simple. It is much easier to make a calculation in the annealing scheme. But annealing uh, is not uh, Correct from a physical point of view because you, when you make a kneeling, you make an average over disorder. So you let the disorder participate to thermodynamic equilibrium, which is what you do not uh, want. You 
would like to have the disorder acting as external and then have a real thermodynamic setting. But the calculations are much easier in the, in the annealed scheme. It's not correct, but uh, are easier. So you, the idea is to have many replicas. I, I will write some formula. Have many replicas, consider for them. Many replicas, say in one, two, three, four, and so on. You make uh, the uh, Boltzmann uh, factor is the product of the Boltzmann factors. You make uh, the annealing for them. Very complicated the formula will appear, but they are, uh, can be treated. And the idea is that the idea is that if you take uh, if if somebody gives you the annealed expressions for the number of replica one, two, three, four, and so on, and you have the annealed expression, then you have some relevant information for uh, uh, even for making, uh, to make an analytic continuation to the number of replicas. So that, in particular, to zero replica, to the zero replica where you have the, the quenched, uh, quenched average. This is really, is really a great idea how this is possible. Because, I mean, people uh, uh, use it in a very useful, useful way. Uh, this is uh, part of the uh, mystery of the nature that we are trying to to unravel. So I think uh, always uh, Sheraton Kirkpatrick. Uh, so we have uh, n sites, uh, easing a configuration. The sigmas uh, are uh, plus or minus one. There are two to the n uh, easing configurations. So this is a very large number. You cannot count all of them and look what happens because when n becomes large, as any check player knows, uh, then uh, uh, 2 to the n is uh, very, very, very large. And we will be also interested in the limit n, n to infinity. Okay, so we introduce, introduce the interaction like this k of sigma. For each sigma, there are random variables uh, with the Gaussian distribution for the sake of simplicity. And they uh, uh, have a variance, mean zero, and the variance which is given by the square of the overlap. And the overlap is uh, the usual. Uh, this is uh, celebrated Sherton Kirkpatrick model, it was introduced in uh, 75, but there has been a flow of uh, papers published, uh, thousands of papers, and uh, still research is going on. How to implement uh, the uh, decay is very, very simple because you, you can write uh, uh, with a triangular random matrix JIJ, you write uh, easing random interaction with type with the proper norm normalization. And uh, uh, this is, uh, so you implement all case, even when n becomes uh, different, in the same probability space, which is useful in some cases. Okay, this is uh, 75. And the, for the Derrida random energy model, uh, the uh, variances uh, are given by delta functions. So they are independent uh, fields uh, random fields for each configuration comes from nuclear, from nuclear physics. And I have been told by Giorgio Parisi that Nicola Gabibbo in the 70s uh, introduced the same model, did not publish because it was considered too simple. In fact, uh, it is very simple, but we will see that it is a very useful laboratory for understanding uh, all things. Now, the random variables we put into a Boltzmann-Gibbs scheme, so that uh, we have, uh, this is the Boltzmann factor, we sum over, zustand sum, and uh, have a partition function, and all thermodynamics uh, comes from here, in particular, of course, the, uh, uh, the random uh, free, free energy. 
Okay, we are interested in the infinite volume limit of the free energy per site. So we divide it by n, log of the n. Looks innocent, uh, but uh, it is quite uh, difficult to have uh, a rigorous control, which in any case can be. And so uh, you can prove uh, uh, theorem so that uh, the limit does exist almost surely in the probability space. Not surely because uh, you can put uh, crazy values for the case and uh, for the j's and uh, that, uh, but almost surely the probability space where all k of sigma are defined. In order to have this theorem, you must define all k of sigma in the same probability space. Random character is lost, and this is a deep fact. It is a mathematical uh, theorem, but it is, it is also physical if you have a disorder of the system. Its property should not depend on the particular realization of the disorder. So it is uh, physics and mathematics go together. The uh, limit can be also calculated to the quenched average. So you take the average with respect to all noise, and you have uh, exactly the same limit. This is also is very deep. It means that the fluctuations, in some sense, uh, have a kind of uh, a, uh, almost automatic averaging so that uh, if you do not quench, you have uh, almost sure convergence. If you quench, you have a convergence because uh, to, the same, uh, to the same limit. Of course, and uh, quenching and annealing have a different physical me meaning and have different physical um, So you can take the annealing uh, before taking the log. So noise participate to the, uh, and you have the annealing expression. Of course, this can be easily calculated. And you have uh, uh, the well-known log of 2 plus 1 fourth beta to the square, which is wrong, but it's not. Uh, for if beta is small, it is uh, completely right in the infinite volume limit. And in any case, it is uh, upper bound. This is a prototype of upper bound. Of course, it will be preserved in fin. No, uh, now I recall, uh, I am also pedagogical, so to speak, everybody knows, but <laughs> I recall uh, replica. Now, I take uh, uh, small s positive integer. I do not take small n for aesthetic reason, but uh, you can um, imagine that it is small n, <coughs> positive integer. So s is equal 1, 2, 3, and so on. And you take uh, the replicated system. So uh, same noise, uh, but uh, uh, they, are, they are different uh, thermodynamic systems, so they have, uh, they have uh, now the variables have uh, indices sigma i. Sigma a plus or minus one, there are s multiplied by n side. This is why I do not write small n by large n. S is one thing. And, uh, okay. Now, for this model, energy is defined, the Boltzmann factor is a factor, so the partition function is uh, the power s, power, because s is equal to one to. Of course, this is uh, it's only that you uh, the partition uh, the partition function is the product, so the the free energy per particle is exactly the same, but in uh, uh, almost sure meaning is exactly the same, and also in the uh, uh, in the in the quenched uh, meaning. But if you go to the annealing, then it is completely different. So I introduce uh, S integer. I introduce this function where the average is taken before the log. And this, is, this would be my auxiliary function, F and S, S equal 1, 2, 3, and so on. Now, there is a small industry on the uh, meaning of this infinite volume limit. Infinite volume limit does exist for an integer s equal to 1 and can be expressed through a variation of principle, uh, elementary case of uh, statistical mechanics. We give only the general structure, 
we have to specify the order parameters and the trial function. So for a given uh, integer s, for each couple of replicas, there are s, s minus 1 divided by 2, couple of replicas, we introduce order parameter q, a, b. Let me take them uh, uh, positive, because, uh, so I will make a connection with the uh, factor de developments. And uh, uh, the trial function is obtained directly through a calculation. It is very nice because uh, it is a calculation. There is an uh, uh, easing factor, easing, uh, easing model, with variables just as many as uh, the replicas. So each sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma s is equal to plus or minus 1 with the sum. And this uh, easing model uh, is random because the couplings are given by the QAB, which are the uh, order parameters. There is a correction factor here. This, this is, so there is, a, there is a trial function, uh, function of, of course, of S, of beta, and uh, the uh, order parameters. Of course, uh, uh, it is um, replica symmetric. If you interchange replicas, uh, it's uh, the same as uh, changing the name to the sigma variables. And uh, uh, the infinite volume limit is given, phi of S beta is given by the soup with respect to all order parameters. Now, this is the industry of uh, replica symmetry. So the trial function is replica symmetric. But the, um, there is more in the sense that the optimal value is replica symmetric in the, in the sense that all Q have the same, the same value. So there is, uh, we take a fight uh, uh, to yield the replica symmetric when all Q are equal to bar. You make a calculation and uh, you find the uh, expression of this type, which is, uh, I mean, the usual uh, replica symmetric expression for S, for S replica. It is nice that uh, Gaussian inter integration appears here for a very, very deep reason, but it is uh, elementary doing the calculations. Uh, of course, the soup, uh, with respect to the when you have a, a replica symmetry, it's less, it's less than the soup in general, because you put a constraint, and the this, this soup uh, is less. Now, there is a deep fact, which is was, uh, I mean, it's understood automatically, but if you have to prove it, you need uh, to have an estimate. The estimate is very simple, that the fact to yield for the, this uh, kind of QAB is uh, less than the average for the five tilde, replica symmetric for only one. You take the average. It is an uh, uh, important uh, fact of, uh, so to speak, the ferromagnetic uh, origin. And so that uh, 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 in the limit, uh, you have that uh, the, the limit is when uh, uh, there is a replica symmetry. So replica symmetry is not, uh, cannot be broken when s is equal to 1, 2, 3. Very simple, but uh, very, very deep. So replica symmetry has a good meaning in, in the sense that the trial function is replica symmetric. And uh, um, uh, there is no replica symmetry breaking in the sense that the optimal values are also replica symmetric. So the replica trick is what is, uh, comes uh, after. I have a very short time, so I will be very fast. If we have this expression for S is e equal 1, 2, 3, can we understand what happens uh, in general? And so we, we speak about analytic continuation. And the, the act of theoretical physics is to guess the right analytic continuation. Now, the Q, A, B, S, S, minus R uh, order parameters uh, for S is equal 1, 2, 3 integer. One uh, 
believes that some, uh, in some sense, also they will be ordered parameters in general. Of course, if S is less than one, there will be negative number, but uh, one uh, can cope with it. The fact that analytic continuation is essential in this uh, replica trick <coughs> argument is very, very deep, uh, very, very deep in the literature. You take the very beautiful paper by Condor, so this is 83, Journal of Mathematical Physics, and you see Parisis, mean field solution for spin glasses uh, as an analytic continuation in the replica number. Very, very clear. Very deep, uh, very interesting, uh, and uh, very useful in the good hands, of course. Of, of course, Condor, Paris, and so on. I mean, these are the good hands. So the idea is that uh, you have the expression for integer s. You can make many different analytic continuations. One analytic continuation would be the replica symmetric Sheraton Kirkpatrick expression. But uh, there are other analytic continuations. In particular, there is the analytic continuation which will lead to the uh, full replica symmetric scheme of uh, Paris. Uh, this is, uh, do not uh, believe in the mathematicians that say it, this is very, very deep, very interesting. Of course, now, I, I will take an opposite, uh, opposite view. I will not make any analytic continuation. I will define the, uh, the phi for uh, any s in the most natural way. So it is a natural analytic continuation. I consider only the case uh, s greater than 0. And uh, the point is that uh, z, the partition function to the power s, even if s is not integer, is well defined. Of course, it, it is not explicitly uh, computable, but it is well defined. So we can find the expression for the derivative with respect to beta. Uh, there is uh, s minus one term, so when s is bigger than one or less than one, there will be inversion in something. In particular, for you have seen that uh, the rational principle is a soup, but we know that, uh, for example, when s uh, goes to zero, the rational principle uh, in the Paris solution must be if, and the referees uh, complained uh, to George Paris at least uh, as he told to me that no, should be wrong because the rational principle should be, should be super. Now, the uh, idea that the experience accumulated for the study of phi n of s and its limit can produce, produce uh, information for uh, generic. Uh, now, also here, small industry, you can prove uh, uh, that there is a limit for this uh, interpolating uh, function. Uh, of course, when uh, uh, s is very, very small, s n number of replicas uh, interpolated, then you have uh, exactly the quenched expression. And the properties, uh, there is a superadditivity, sub, uh, uh, subadditivity, there is the infinite volume limit. Uh, uh, the functions are monotone, non-decreasing in the parameter s. These functions are convex in s, which is, was proven by uh, Michel Talgan in an extremely complicated way, but it is only necessary to make a calculation never integrated by parts. And also these functions are convex in o 1 over s. In fact, uh, I believe they are convex even in s, but uh, it is simple to prove. Now, in order to see the potentialities, I am almost at the end. I shift to the random energy model. So to, to see uh, the, the, the fact that now replica symmetry break, breaking is not given by the fact that there are many analytic continuations. It's given by the fact that there is a phase transition for the only expression that uh, we have so that uh, replica symmetry is broken because of this. Uh, now, here uh, I, I have all details, but uh, I only give, uh, because everything can be explicitly calculated, 
And what is nice is that starting from the variational principle for integer s, you immediately guess have idea what are the order parameters. What is, uh, now it is only one. What is the variational principle? At the end you have a, a theorem. Uh, trial function, a theorem. So there is, uh, there is a trial function m. This is, a, uh, there is a, a order parameter m independently of S, and this is phi over tilde, and then uh, the infinite volume limit will be sup when M is between 1 and S if S is greater than 0, and will be nif when M is between S and 1 when S is less than 1. S greater than 1, here S less than 1. You see, the trial function does not depend on the number of replicas, but the, uh, the interval here. Okay, so this is, uh, uh, what is replica symmetry? The, the fact that uh, there is a whole region where everything is replica symmetric, here the overlap is either zero or one, so in one region it is zero, in one region it is one, replica symmetry. Then there is replica symmetry break. How, how comes, uh, it's very, very simple, that uh, what is the reason the, for example, uh, take a beta greater than some uh, critical point and the large value of S. And then this is replica symmetric expression corresponding to the order parameter equal one, no fluctuations replica symmetry. Then you go down with S. There is no problem with analytic continuation because it's, it's uh, as much analytic as possible. But there is a point where the replica symmetric expression has inversion points. It uh, uh, becomes, uh, uh, should be increasing in S, the true one. This at one point becomes decreasing, uh, decreasing in S. So you have a situation. So this is a replica symmetric in S for a special uh, S critical. There is inversion point. And then, uh, no, clear, since the true function must be increasing in S, you have immediately that uh, the true function between uh, zero and less critical uh, uh, cannot change. It's uh, very simple, uh, yes, and uh, very beautiful. Okay, then uh, uh, in another talk, I will talk about how to generalize to the Sherrington Kirkpatrick. The last thing that I would like to show, because I, I, I told you with uh, some of you, that if you consider the, uh, uh, you have the interaction that I introduced before, and you can introduce also one body random interaction, one body random interaction. Now it is universally believed that there is uh, Almeida Taurus line, such that if you go before the line, you have a replica symmetry, after the line, after some effort, this can be established rigorously. I gave a talk when I, uh, I said, uh, in Marseille, when I said that uh, there is a Telegram uh, transition line, and there is Almeida Taurus, and one does not know whether, and then Wei Kuo, you know, many of you know him, is very, very nice, told to me, I think I can prove it. And he showed to me how to prove that in external field, in random external field, the transition is the Almeida Taurus transition. A very beautiful proof, very simple, I should say, even though it took uh, uh, some uh, days uh, for me to reconstruct. Uh, only, uh, of course, I only started from the idea, then I had to do all calculation. And now, uh, if there is also fixed external field, what happens? 
everybody believes, and they also believe that uh, transition is also on the Adalus, but uh, rigorous proof is not, uh, for some technical reason, is not given, and I hope to give it uh, next. I Thank am almost uh, on the advice. Well, in principle, we have time for zero question, but uh, we're going to continue it analytically to one. Yeah, I know, but uh, today is one. <laughs> so, any urgent question? Well, we respect the limit n equals zero, so thank you.